Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible and I really truly mean that. I love you guys and I really mean that a tremendous amount. Of course, you guys know Drogo. Good morning, Drogo. How you doing, buddy? He's just chilling out on his little bed here. Good morning, how are you, silly monkey? You doing okay? He is so sweet and of course, we've had Drogo now for three and a half, almost four months, and he has become such a huge part of our life. We love him so much, but we haven't been able to exhibit him because you can actually have a permit to keep them, but in order to exhibit, you need an exhibitor's permit. Well, it's taken us a few months to finally get the inspection for that permit, and guess what? Today is the day that we get to get the inspection, and hey, who knows? If everything goes well, today is the day that we're gonna be able to start exhibiting Drogo. Before we jump on that meeting for the USDA for the permit, I wanted to kind of just give you an update on Ivy. Of course, Aries here is being a good boy. Aries, what are you doing? Aries is just like Ivy, the same type of animal. I mean, look at I put my hand out, and he literally crawls right up into my hand. It's the craziest thing. I mean, I don't know what the deal is, but of course a lot of you guys have been concerned about how Ivy is doing. Ivy is actually right over here. She's in her water, and you can see her head right up down here, and I've been keeping a super close eye on her. Temperatures are about three to four degrees warmer in here. Of course, at nighttime, there's still temperature in here. The water temperatures went up a couple degrees. I haven't seen her gaping or blowing bubbles since the day I talked about it. So she is looking absolutely incredible, and of course, she's actually just coming out of shed. She'll probably shed today, tomorrow by the latest, and that should be really good. Then we'll go ahead and offer her food. If she takes food, I think we are 100% gold. I know a lot of you guys have been worried about Ivy, so I wanted to give you the quick update before we jump on this Zoom call with our USD inspector. All right, guys, so we're about to start the actual meeting with the USD inspector, so let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Hi, how are you? So I have I have the one from the person we got him from. Um, part, yeah, so I don't need another one, just that. Okay, perfect. So now we're giving the uh, virtual tour to the inspector, just so this is his first uh, look at the, the actual the enclosure, the um, and hopefully he's going to think it's in good shape, um, and we'll get that permit. And then this is his enclosure. So we've got lots of different stuff. This is the big tree. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited, man. <laughs> well, guys, guess what? <laughs> guess what, guys? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, we can exhibit the sloth. Oh my gosh, we got the approval for uh, the exhibit. That was amazing. That was. It took a while. It was uh, not exactly the most exciting thing, but it actually was really cool. Good information. Super good inspector. Really nice guy. So, uh, what do you think, Laura? Are you excited too? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so again, that is super exciting. I mean, how cool is that, guys? I mean, we've had Drogo now for three and a half, four months and really only been able to show our friends and stuff like that. So as of this next weekend when we're open up, guys, Drogo is coming and he is going to be on exhibit. Beanie, let's go. Back in the cave. Back here. Let's go. All the way. Keep going. Hey, Beanie, come on. Let's go. Back. Back. Come on. Over here. Come on. Keep coming back. Keep coming. Let's go. Let's go to the back. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Speed. Hey, Speedy, go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hey, Speedy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right here. Back here. Let's go. To the back. To the back. Go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, keep coming. Get going. Goodbye. <laughs> what a monkey. Like I've been mentioning, we're going around and kind of sprucing up all the enclosures. Today, we cleaned out Artemis Prime's enclosure, and Jessica's going to come over and do some magic, just make it look a little bit better. So it definitely will be a lot more aesthetically pleasing at the end of the day. Uh, all cleaned and ready for Jessica.
Artemis Cage is all done, looks absolutely incredible. Again, I think he's gonna love it too because it gives it a little bit more like kind of places for him to feel comfortable, right? Hiding. If she's back here, she can be behind the tree, stuff like that. So it's gonna be cool. So what do you say we put her back in and see what she thinks about it? Artemis, you getting a little bit of a soap? You doing okay? Come on, little monkey. Come on, Artemis. There you go, up you go, up you go. There you go. What do you think? Look at how cool it looks. Again, just little touches like that. Little branch up there with the little tree, all this type of stuff makes Artemis look so good. And again, I think it's gonna help her with feeling a little bit more comfortable as well too. So uh, again, another amazing job by Jessica. Loving the way this place is looking. And the moment of truth. I've been waiting for this. You gotta remember, we really haven't even spent much time seeing Drogo without, of course, the sign. So uh, I think we need to save this sign just for, I don't know why we would save oh, it, but okay. I think it'd be cool. Don't So don't just rip it off, but. <laughs> So, I was just gonna... so we're going to take that. So this will get an idea of what people that are just coming to the Reptarium are going to get a chance to see. So, all right, here we go. Oh, I ripped it. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Darn it. I'm going to let you guys do that. Oh, you did rip it. You oh, look at it. It's, it's dusty. We got to clean it up. Look at it. <laughs> it's got some nose prints and stuff like that. So, uh, so obviously that's from the inside. Also, it's it's probably foggy because of the humidity as well, you know. So we're gonna have to go and just kind of dust cleaner. this off, clean this up, and then. But this will give you an idea once it's clean what it's gonna look like to see Drogo uh, for anyone that walks in the Reptarium. But we're also gonna offer some experiences for people that want to get a little bit more up and close and personal with it. But uh, this is the first look. Gonna clean this glass and. Uh, we'll get a chance to see what people are going to be able to see this weekend at the Reptarium. I don't know if they're doing a good job or not. I, can you guys hurry it up a little bit? I've got things to do. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> So you guys did a great job. Yeah, I know. Uh, you guys did a good job. That was all me. Yeah, that was you all guys, me. you guys did good. So this is what people will see when they walk in. I mean, again, just every person that walks in the Reptarium is going to get a chance to actually see Drogo. He's over in his bed right there. And again, like I said, there's going to be some special experiences that we're going to offer here starting here this coming weekend too. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Are you sure it's not going to be hot though? These aren't hot. No way. There's no way. I don't know if there's. There's no way. Here, just some me, random person me, sent us it. Yeah, Mimi, is this hot? This is for... No, it's not hot. It's not gonna be hot. It's gonna be tasty. It'll be. It'll probably have a little spice, but it's not hot. See, it's not hot, right? I don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know yet. <laughs> Bruce just took a big old chunk. The seeds will probably have a little spice to them, but it's also just not good because it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. not disintegrating. Yeah, no. You, yeah, it feels you like mean? you're chewing on plastic. Right, you need to hydrate them before you eat them. <laughs> well, why'd you give why'd them you that? Give because you guys said that you wanted to try them. No, it's not hot at all, but it's very it's got yummy. Some flavor. It's got some really good flavor to it. See, no, look at it. You guys are good. Like yeah. Pretty excited guys. We actually have our first three ovulations. The first one is actually a pie ball and it's actually just bred to an albino pie. So they're all going to be pies that will be het for albino. But this girl ovulated and basically what happens with ovulations is that you're looking at about a 50 day window before egg laying. Roughly give or take. About 20 days after they ovulate they're going to go into what they call a pre-lay shed. This girl is actually nice big old female that ovulated. This is actually a pinstripe het for pie that's spread to a pastel pie. So we could produce pin pies, lemon blast pie, pastel pies, and pies from that. So that's pretty exciting. And then the third female that actually ovulated actually was the first clutch that we got last year was this genetic stripe. And she's actually bred to a banana G stripe as well. That's a recessive mutation, the genetic stripe, and then of course the bananas. So half the clutch should be banana G stripes, the other half should be G stripes. So it's pretty exciting, pretty cool uh, to have three females that should be laying. And in about a month and a half roughly in that range. A lot of other females ovulating pretty soon too, but those will be our first three clutches. So back to those encounters and what you can actually do is we're gonna allow some people, small groups like maybe four, four or something people. like that, four people that will have an opportunity to come in for like five minutes at a time that will be able to 
and kind of do exactly what I'm doing now. Get close to Drogo, take pictures of Drogo, just kind of experience the Drogo experience. That'll be one of the ones. The second one that we're gonna hopefully be able to do will be, again, will be four people on the second one too. Yep. Four people, and that will be that you'll be able to pet him, feed him some treats, uh, again, get pictures with him. We're not doing any holding of him at all right now. Will that happen down the road? I'm not sure, but right now, those are the two experiences that we're gonna offer as small groups, maybe just a few times a night where people can come in and actually, again, interact with Drogo like this. Again, two different experiences. So if you're interested in doing sloth stuff, just check out the reptarium.com. You can take a look at all that stuff. But for everyone else, they can come in and at least see them through the window now. So we're really excited that we finally are gonna have an opportunity for people to, to see our little buddy here. Because it's been our animal here for the last four months or so, now we get to share it with the world. So I am so excited about it. Again, this weekend starts the experiences. That damn roach is having a baby. I'm about to have a baby. <laughs> that was the edited version? I would like to put that in there. <laughs> what is that, Lori? Is that a larva? That's what I think it is, which oh, is not okay. Oh, no. It looks like a larva. Let's go get Let's go get Brian. Can you come here real quick, please? One second. All right, here we go. Just a quick one. Okay, what do we got? I get some cockroaches. <laughs> So we're just trying to figure out, is this hissing, is this hissing cockroach here? What, what is that one doing on the wall? <gasps> is it having babies? I think so, dude. Is that having babies? Oh, Lori's going to throw them all out. Mimi is not happy right now. <laughs> Mimi said they're all going outside. Oh my gosh. Do they, are they eggs? And then I, they I think it's a larva, or, right? I think it's a larva. It's a larva? I, that's awesome. I don't think so. The, look at the mixed reaction though, right? Oh, this so. is great. This is great news. Oh my god, that's awesome. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering what it was like growing up with Bartex. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> go ask mom. Go ask dad. Wow. That is bizarre. So y'all go follow follow Brian on Instagram and TikTok real quick. <laughs> Lori, isn't that awesome? We're gonna have baby hissing cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you, excited. New parents. Wow. I'm excited. We could use some more baby hissing cockroaches. I promise that wasn't gonna ever happen. <laughs> Bye-bye. No, nope, no, nope, they're gonna be fine. So how exciting is that? We can finally start exhibiting Drogo and doing experiences with Drogo. I have been dreaming of it. It's gonna be amazing when we're open next time and actually have people do it. So amazing is, by the way, Tomorrow is Drogo's fourth birthday. That's right, he's four years old tomorrow, which is pretty darn cool. We'll have a little bit of fun, so stay tuned for that for sure. If you do enjoy this video and you like stuff that's going on here in the Reptarium, here's an entire build sequence of us building out the Reptarium. You can watch Hit one or two of those videos. Really helps my click through and I really do appreciate it. You can also right up here subscribe to my podcast if you like that. We do it a few times a week, I think you will. On this side, you hopefully are subscribed to this blog channel, getting us to three million. Turn your post notifications on if you don't mind. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.